The automation framework is a feature that allows specific actions to be completed based on user-defined triggers. To set up this feature, go to the Setup menu, and then to Automation. The Automation dialog contains a list of all the actions that you have set up. To set up a new action, click Add. The description can be whatever you want. This is how you identify the action from your automation list. The trigger is what needs to take place before this action will happen. To set this, all you have to do is use the drop down menu and choose the appropriate trigger. Now, depending on what you want to occur when someone breaks an appointment in Practice Web, you now choose your action. If you want to have a financial letter showing a collection amount based on a broken appointment, if you simply want to create a communication log noting that the appointment was broken, all of this can automatically happen for you based on your trigger and the action you select. From this point, you can choose the communication type and then type in the note that you want to have show up automatically by default. Now once you put in your message, click OK to save this new automation. Now that you have your automated action set up, let me show you how it works. We set up to have a new patient welcome letter print or be emailed when we're creating a new patient appointment. In the process of creating a new patient appointment, noted by the check mark in the edit appointment screen, once you've attached your procedures and clicked OK to save this appointment, notice that your sheet that you designated to show up after your action will appear. This sheet can now be printed or emailed for the patient. Simply click Print or Email. So once your new patient appointment is made, if you go into your chart module, you'll now see the record that the welcome letter was either emailed or printed. Another trigger that we have set up for this demo is a broken appointment communication log. To break an appointment, single right click on the appointment and click on break appointment. Notice that your communication item that you designated in the automation will appear along with your default note. If you need to add in any additional notes, you can do so here. If you want to save, click OK and your communication log will be stored in your account module.